The statistics on human trafficking are startling. Each year, as many as 100,000 to 300,000 American children are at risk of being sold and brought into the sex trafficking industry. That is not counting the number of kids that are already in. More than 1.2 million teens and children from around the world are trafficked every year. Also, every two minutes, a child is being forced into trafficking. The situation has even gotten the notice of Hollywood, who have created such movies like Taken with Liam Nelson that have helped to spread the word that a sickening epidemic is continuing to tear apart families that are getting brought into it and stealing the innocence of young girls. It is for this reason I believe we should, we should spread the word of sex trafficking. Nowadays, women are, are being forced into trafficking, which is when people are forced or coerced into commercial sex trade against their will. Many people today have no clue trafficking is happening in the United States, but it is. Every year, human traffickers bring in billions of dollars in profits by victimizing millions of people from around the world and in the United States. In fact, human trafficking is considered to be one of the fastest growing criminal industries in the world today. The subject of human trafficking really hit me when someone important to me was affected by this horrible tragedy. She was a young model in Los Angeles who was hired for a modeling job in another country. She was excited and thought she finally made it big, but when she arrived, she found out that she was trapped in a nightmare. A couple weeks after arriving, she found out to her horror that she had been fact purchased as a Christmas gift for a billionaire and his girlfriend's sexual pleasure. After three, week, three weeks of unexplainable trauma, she finally was able to convince the girlfriend to get her to get back home by saying she loved her then that she just needed to go home and check on her house and to make certain everything was okay. My friend, who had no clue, why she was let go but she thought it might have been because she was no longer useful to them for they had used her in them. After arriving home she changed her address, phone number, and basically her entire identity. She, su see, she suppressed the pain and terror of what had happened to her for about eight and a half years. However, the torment would not lay silent much longer. It was about three years when all this horrible memory started to work its way back. She didn't know why this happened, but it hit her like a ton of bricks. Until this time, her family didn't know why, what had happened to her until she was comfortable enough to explain what happened. Yes, as to be expected, her family was very upset that it happened and that she was exposed to these horrible things. The family wanted to know who did this to and to make it come to a stop, but she didn't want to expose him because she didn't know what he would do to her family if she had told the cops. Eventually, she found healing and recovery from this long process by going to counseling and getting help by the International Crisis Aid. As a survivor of sex trafficking, she works to spread awareness and to teach prevention to help victims and survivors of sex trafficking. Before I even knew her story and what happened to her, I was just like everyone else who didn't think sex trafficking happened in the United States or let alone what it even was. After I heard what happened to her and sat down and talked with her about it, it just made me want to spread the word and do what I could to end the senseless violence upon women. No women should ever have to be forced, into, forced to do something they don't want to. It made me realize how bad sex trafficking really is and what all is involved. Even though my voice is only one, if we all come together to spread the word, it can make a huge impact on thousands of women across the globe.